Hello everyone, it's Jeff here bringing you another video from our Kenya Adventures. Right now I'm at Old Bajeta Conservancy, which is a 360 square kilometer conservancy located right next to Mount Kenya. This place does phenomenal work in conservation and it's a thriving rhino metropolis. It's here where you can actually come and interact with one of the resident black rhinos and that's who's right here behind me. This is Baraka and he is a blind black rhinoceros who actually lost his eyesight to a territorial battle. Because he has now lost his vision, he actually lives in his own separate enclosure here where guests can come and interact and feed him. Baraka serves as an ambassador for his species to help educate visitors of the conservancy all about his species. So right now he's a little bit tired, um, as you can see, but if we get the chance, I'm going to hopefully catch him standing up where we can feed him his favorite snack, shrubbery. In the meantime, we're just going to sit here, uh, have a snooze with him until he decides to wake up. Baraka. Baraka. Aren't you hungry for some leaves? Leaves sound so good this morning. He's like, yum. I love carrots. Touch you. Wow. Wow. He smells me. Baraka, you're beautiful. What the? So many of them. <laughs> Apple juice and giraffes. Wow, so we might wake up in the middle of the night to some and, lions. And they're very interesting. In the morning when they went looking for them, none of them was available. Shelly and I just checked into the Perini Rhino Camp located in Opajeta Conservancy. We're on the complete other side of the Conservancy than where we were this morning. So <laughs> seems like everywhere <laughs> seems like everywhere we go, we're the only people checked in for the night. So we are blown away. We are in the family tent, so we actually have enough space for all of our friends to come join us tonight. If anyone's <laughs> seeing this, room for eight. <laughs> there's room for eight. Shelly has her own wing. I have my own wing. <laughs> I can't wait to show you this. So they sat us down here for lunch, and we're right underneath this nice shaded area. And there's a watering hole right in view, and there's probably 12 to 14 giraffes having a sip of water while right we now eat? while we eat, which is like beyond magical i don't think i've ever seen more giraffes in one spot no, ever this is a dream come true <sighs> the adventures continue ah. what looks like beef and we have some chickpeas some rice fresh salad oh and there's the giraffes there they go so i was just videoing those giraffes uh getting a sip of water over at the watering hole and fun fact for you giraffes necks are actually not long enough to touch the ground so they actually have to spread their arms out in order to reach all the way to the water and get a sip. By the time the water travels from their mouths all the way to their stomachs, the water has traveled up their neck about three to four meters. So we just got new water bottles. What a nice little treat. I love a good water bottle. Shelly and I are still not totally there right now. We have had a very big day. We woke up at 6 a.m. to meet the last two northern white rhinos on the entire planet. <laughs> then we met the anti-poaching canine team. We watched a two-hour demonstration and witnessed their training session. Then we just casually went over to feed a black rhinoceros named Baraka. And then we went on game drive on our way here, spotted elephants, giraffes, rhinos. And now we're just checking into another great, incredible, immersive, soulful experience in the bush. This is Perini Rhino Camp. 
we are headed to our family size tent. <laughs> I'm so surprised they put us in this, you guys. It sleeps eight people. <laughs> or like six to eight or something. Ah. Da -da -da -da. Look at this. Okay, so this is Shelly's wing. <laughs> Um, and there's Cape Buffalo <laughs> coming to the watering hole. Oh. Ah, this is so cool. Like, this is what I want on safari. Like, I want to be exactly in, I want to see animals outside my tent. Okay, so here's our lobby. <laughs> uh, so before you make your way to the bedrooms, you can just have a quick little relaxing moment here. And then you can head on to um, my wing. So this is my wing. We've got a desk space. I mean, this is insane. I love the rhino curtains. So this is my bathroom. Let's turn this on. That was lunch. Got a toilet in a luxury tent. How cool. And a shower. Oh, I have an appointment with the shower later. And that's a wrap on today's safari vlog. Thank you so much for joining me for this adventure. I'm having a lot of fun editing these vlogs after the fact because I get to relive the adventures all over again. I really truly documented every single step we took. If you aren't already up to speed, do know that I'm posting weekly vlogs, sharing and cataloging our entire adventure through Kenya. And right now our focus destination is Old Bajeda. I am making a video of each of the activities we experienced there through Old Bajeda Escapes. I've already got one on my channel about the Northern White Rhino meet and greet. Then I have one about the dog tracking activity. So if you haven't seen those yet, I definitely recommend you have a look. And then I have more videos coming up with even more experiences. We're gonna go lion tracking, nighttime game drive. We've got a lot to do here. It's gonna be a blast. So don't miss out on this. And if you wanna keep your spot on the safari vehicle and continue the adventures with us here in Kenya or any other natural place I might go around the world, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Thank you.